Agnostics, it means no one knows whether there's a God. So everyone's technically agnostic. We don't know. El cómico Ricky Gervais explicó en esta entrevista, en el Late Show de Stephen Colbert, por qué es ateo. Cuando me enfrento a alguien que desprecia tanto mi falta de fe religiosa, digo, así es como Dios me hizo. Talking about hell uh, before, uh, about the street, about you going to hell. Yeah. Um, and uh, I know that you're uh, an atheist, correct? Yeah. Okay. People have been debating... That's the devil waiting for you in hell, by the way. Yeah. Would you want to debate the existence of sure. God? Okay. Yeah. You, why is there something instead of why is there nothing? Why, why does the universe exist at all? Why is there something? But surely the big question is not why, but how. Well, why is it relevant? Okay, it? fine. How, how is there something? Because you think of God as the prime mover. How is there anything? Well, 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 I don't. Of I don't. This is this is a, a ridiculous. Is there a premise. prime mover? If the outside science and nature, I don't believe so. Because the, the interesting thing is, th this is the thing, right? So, I, I'm an agnostic atheist technically. Agnostics um, mean it means no one knows whether there's a God. So everyone's technically ag agnostic. We don't know. That's true. So that's true. an agnostic atheist is someone who doesn't know there's a God or not. As no one does. So you're not convicted of your atheism. Well, I'm I am. Not sure. No, I am because atheism is only rejecting the claim that there is a god. Atheism isn't a belief system. Mm -hmm. Atheism. So this this is atheism in a nutshell. You say there's a god. I say, can you prove that? You say no. I say I don't believe you then. Mm -hmm. So um, you believe in one god, I assume. Uh, in three persons, but go ahead. Okay. So you believe. Okay. So. But there, there are about 3,000 to choose from. So basically, you deny one less God than I do. You don't believe in 2,999 gods, and I don't believe in just one more. Right. <laughs> do, you, do, you, uh, do you ever have a feeling of great gratitude for existence? I lo of course. Do I, you ever have I know, a, I know, I know the have... chances are yeah. billions to one that I am on this planet as me and never will be again. And I know I, I can't convince you that there, there is a God, nor do I really want to convince you there's a God, but no. I can only explain my experience, which is that I have a strong desire to direct that gratitude toward something or of someone. Of course, no, of yeah. course. And that, but, thing, is, that thing is God. We're mortal. We, don't, we, we want to we make sense of nature and science, and, we, and it's too unfathomable that, that, that everything in the universe was once crunched into something smaller than an atom. But you don't Three, know that. Well... <sighs> You're just believing but, Stephen but not, Hawking, but, and that's a matter well, of faith in his abilities. Yeah, it, yes. You don't know it yourself. You're accepting that because someone told you. Yeah, well, but science, science is constantly proved all the time. You see, if we take something like any fiction, in any holy book, in any other fiction, yeah. and destroyed it, yeah. okay, in a thousand years' time, that wouldn't come back just as it was. Yeah. Whereas if we took every science book, yes. right, and every fact, and destroyed them all, in a thousand years, they'd all be back, because all the same tests would be the same result. That's good. That's really good. So, I don't need faith in science. I don't need faith to know that probably if I jump out of a window, every other time someone jumped out, they smash to the ground because yeah. of this thing called gravity. And I don't, then, yeah. Satan would be raping you. <laughs> this is why I'm a good boy. Ricky, uh, please come back and I debate will. something even more sure. important. Sure.